Hello, Nuri, Oscar. Welcome. How are you doing, guys? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. How was your weekend? Uh, it was great. It was great? Thank you. What yeah. do you do? Yeah. What did you do? Where did you go? Uh, I went to a, a new place for me. You, you went to where, I'm sorry? A new place for me. Oh, really? What place was that? Uh, it's near um, uh, in Los Planes. Near Los Planes. Near Los Planes, really? Yeah. It's like a, like a restaurant. Oh, so it was a restaurant. Yeah, I imagined it, it was going to be a restaurant. That's great. Yeah. So yeah. what do you eat there, pupusas? Pupusas? <laughs> yes, but um, um, the food is not good. The food the is not good? Not good. Really? You, 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 didn't, you didn't like them? No, it is expensive. Really? Wow. Yeah. OK, so. Only the place was beautiful. The place was nice, but. The food was awful. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I don't know if you liked it more than you hated it, but I hope so. Um, very good. Welcome. I right, thank you for being early. Uh, Rodrigo, how are you, Rodrigo? Everything good? Fine. I'm glad good. All right. Great. So, what do you do this weekend? This weekend, only rest. Taking up. Taking up. Taking up, taking up. You only took a nap. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's crazy. <laughs> All right, yeah. very good. Uh, what about you, Oscar? What do you do this weekend? I just sleeping. <laughs> just slept. You didn't go out or anything. Sleeping, sleeping. Wow. Okay. All right. So you didn't go out at all. I didn't do any more. <laughs> didn't do anything? You didn't have homework or anything to do? No. <laughs> Just that. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Very good, man. All right. So, guys, uh, today, today we have a very important topic, guys. But before we move on, guys, welcome, uh, Maylin. Nice to see you. All right. I'm, I'm good. And you, but David? I'm great. Great. Nice. You know. I'm glad uh, that you guys are early, you know? Oh, yes. All right. So. But what's so guys, your Monday? My Monday. My Monday has been a little bit harsh because really? my mom is hospitalized. Yes. Really? What happened with your mother? Uh, it's something very delicate. We're, I'm, you know, I'm just uh, hoping everything goes well. But uh, yeah, uh, she, she's going to get a surgery, you know, um, but yeah, uh, you know, hopefully everything is fine, right? Um, Sorry, David. No, that's all right. You know, life is like that, right? Um, but anyways, uh, guys, thank you for being here, guys. Uh, we're going to move on today. Um, guys, I want to go over the platform first. Okay. So first thing I want to, uh, I want to check guys is, well, first thing I want to do, guys, is I want you guys to tell me if you have questions from section number four or five. Do we have questions from section number four or five, guys? Do you need help with, with any of them? Or even the final exam, guys, if you finish them all, right? ¿No hay preguntas de la sección cuatro o cinco, guys, o del examen final? Mm, no, because I I can finish the platform only the core four. Okay. Okay. So so you're still missing all section five, Maylin, and the the exam. Te falta toda la sección cinco y el examen. Yes. All right. I... All right. Very good. What about you, Marcos? Hi. Exactly the same. I'm missing the number five. All right, you're missing number five. Okay, very good. All right. 
David, welcome, David. All right, so guys, uh, anyways, so we're gonna go over this today, guys. All right. Um, so if you don't have any other, do, so we don't have any questions, guys, regarding the platform, then. People who just came in, David, Oscar. No questions. Patricia, no. Okay, all right, very good. All right, guys. So, uh, so let me, let me pull out the presentation, guys, and we're gonna get it. We're gonna get started then. So guys, uh, good news for you. We're going to talk David, about your favorite. I have a question. Tell me. Um, what is the end of the course? What is the what? what the is... end of the course. Yes. You mean the final level? No. What is the finish the course? What day? This course. Oh, this, this Thursday. It's, it's going to be this Thursday. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Very good. We're uh, on the fourth week, right? Yeah. Semana semana cuatro. So, yeah. It's this Thursday, right? Yes. Right, very good. Yeah. Very good. So, guys. Uh, so, do you remember? Really, well, first of all, guys, let's let's backtrack a little bit, okay? You guys know, do you remember what clauses are? Who remembers what clauses are, guys? Clause. Who can tell me what a clause is? So who can tell me what a clause is? A group of words. Very good. Okay, right. Guys, all right. I'm going to – I need everyone, guys, to understand 100% what a clause is because I've explained this before. If you do not understand, guys, if you don't know, if you don't know what a clause is, please let me know. Because if you don't understand what a clause is, you're not going to understand today's topic, okay? Si vos no sabes qué es una, una clause, guys, no vas a entender el topic de hoy. Para nada, got it? So please raise your hand if you do not know what a clause is. Si no sabes qué es una clause, guys, levanta tu mano. So we all know. Okay, very good. I mean, that's fine, right? That's great, actually. Okay, so somebody said a group of words... So since everybody knows, guys, since everybody knows, I'm sorry, uh, let me ask you, uh, Patricia, it's a group of words, and what are, what are, missing, what are we missing here? Mm, they contain the such and verbs. That contains, very good, a subject and a verb. Very good. Good job. Good job, Patricia. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, right? Very good. And what are the two types of clauses that we have? The main two types of clauses that we have, guys. ¿Cuáles son los, los tipos principales de clauses que tenemos? Relative and... Depend and independent. Depend and independent. Very, very good. Okay, dependent. Very good. Dependent, right? And, and, and yes, David, those are clauses, right? And independent, right? Independent. Okay, very good. So these are the two main groups, right? Within these guys, okay, we have... You know, we have dependent, relative plus, we have relative here, okay? We can have uh, defining, you know, we can have defining relative clauses, right? Defining or non-defining, right? Or non-defining. All right, so we have multiple types of clauses, right? So today, guys, we're gonna focus on, we're gonna focus on relative clauses, all right? All right, so this is what we're gonna see today, guys, okay? So since we all know, guys, what clauses are, all right, that's gonna be, that's gonna make the class a little bit easier, okay? So to construct, guys, relative the clauses, we need, we need what? Subject or object. Relative pronoun. We need a relative pronoun, okay? All right, pronoun. a relative pronoun, guys, is what? Who, which, who? All right, or who or that, or which or that, right? Okay, those are relative pronouns, guys, okay? They help us connect to what? To ideas, okay? They help us connect to ideas, guys, all right? All right, for example, okay, let's take a look at the first example. Um, let's see, Adrian. Adrian, please help me read example number one. Okay. Uh, 
That's the man who offered me the job. Who or that offered me the job, okay? Very good, guys. So how many clauses do we have here? Two. We have One. two, very two. good. Two, two clauses, right? How many sentences do we have? One. 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 Okay, so we have. Okay, so we have one sentence, and we have. Yeah. All right, two clauses. The first one, that's the man. The second one, who or that offered me the job. Okay, so we have two clauses within one sentence, right? Now, this guy's right here. This one right, right here, okay? This close right here. Is that dependent or independent, guys? Guys. Dependent. Dependent. When I say that's the man? That is independent. Independent. Dependent. 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 Okay, very good, okay? Dependent. Now, now, remember guys, who or that right introduces a relative clause okay so if this one right here guys it's a relative clause is that dependent or independent dependent dependent right dependent. it is dependent. dependent very good all right very good and what type of dependent clause is guys that is a relative clause why is it a relative clause guys porque una relative clause because it starts oh, with who or that. All right, and how do we call these two? Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. Okay, we call them relative pronouns. Very good. Okay, everyone clear so far, guys. Ahorita todos 100 tequila. Yes. No. All right. Very good. Okay. Good job. Ya ven que le enseñé bien. All right. Very good. All right. Very good, guys. So, if you're not lost, guys, si no están perdidos. Perfecto, guys. Ahorita no vamos a perder. All right? No, I'm kidding, guys. We're not going to get lost right now, okay? All right. So, guys, with this being said, guys, we have a concept called noun phrases contain relative clauses, okay? All right. So, you can tell me, David, you know, teacher, what what is that? I don't understand, all right? Let's break this down, guys, and try to analyze it together, okay? All right. First of all, guys, I want to show you, all right? This sounds complicated, but it's really not, guys, okay? Let's read the first sentence right here. Uh, David, would you please help me read? One thing that I have really missed is my mom cooking. Mom's Very good. Cooking. Very good. One thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking, okay? Now, guys, I want you to notice something, okay? First of all, guys, where do you see the relative clause? Donde ves like the relative clause here? My mom's cooking. No. Mm -mm. Mm. All right, now let me. All right, guys. I really miss. I really miss. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, guys, I want to show you something here. Okay. To identify a relative clause, you need to remember that you can identify by a relative. How do we call this? Pronoun. A relative pronoun, okay? Guys, toda relative clause, it needs to come relative pronoun, okay? So this right here that I really miss is my mom's cooking, right? This guy's right here. One thing that I really miss, right, is what we're calling, you know, a noun phrase. Why is that a noun phrase? Let me tell you why, guys. A noun phrase, guys, is something that acts as a noun, okay? It's a phrase that acts as a noun. I repeat, guys. A noun phrase is a, noun. a phrase that acts as a noun, okay? Write it down, guys. Write it down, okay? And remember, guys, you can also, you can always send the, this, you know, the whiteboard to the, as a screenshot to, to the WhatsApp group, right? So, guys, I want you to remember this, okay? Noun phrases, okay? This, guys, is a phrase that works 
as a noun, okay? For example, so you have, okay, so let's have the example over here, right? Example. All right, um, you can say one thing that I really like about you is, all right? You can also say, you know, mm, the thing I want the most is, okay? This is also another another noun phrase, all right? And you'll, you, you'll understand why in a moment, okay? You can also say, um, uh, my favorite subject is, okay? No, let's change this, okay? Um, one of the things I love about the subject is, all right, very good. So now, notice guys, that I'm ending these phrases with the verb. What verb do we have here? The verb be, okay? All right, we have the verb be, all right? Very good. Now, this is very important to remember, guys, because that will form, you know, the part of the structure, okay? So, another thing, guys, that you have to see that they have in common here is the second part, all right? The second part is containing relative clauses, okay? So, now, I want you to pay attention to this, all right? It says one thing, all right? It says noun phrases, and over here, right, containing relative clauses, okay? All right, or relative pronouns, it should be relative, well, whatever, right? It could be relative pronouns too, guys, because anyways, it starts with a relative pronoun, right? So this is the topic, guys. Noun phrases containing relative clauses, right? So first of all, we have the, we accomplish the first rule here, okay? Lo que están viendo ahorita, guys, es que estamos cumpliendo la primera, la primera parte, que es noun phrases, right? Is this a noun phrase? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? What do you think? Yes. Yes. All right, but you don't seem so convinced. Okay, let me let me help you out, guys. Okay. Now, guys, if I say one thing that I really like about you is, um, let's see, it's your hair. Okay, your hair. The thing I want the most is, uh, what is the thing that you want the most? Uh, Monica, welcome, Monica, nice to see you. What is the thing that you want the most, Monica? Uh, one thing that I really like about you is your enthusiasm, I don't know, enthusiasm. Okay, okay. Enth okay right. you gave me the first example, okay? All right, very good. So let's change this for your enthusiasm, okay? All right, very good. Um, let's see now, number two, okay, number two. Let's have uh, Maylin, Maylin Poca Sangre. All right, Maylin, so could you please tell me the thing that you want the most? What do you want the most? So the thing that I want the most is? Maylin? I don't know. All right. I, I think. Um, you have to ask. I, I have one. All right, tell me, tell me. Is to study abroad. Is to study abroad. Okay, all right, we can use this. All right, very good. All right, so then give me the last one. Uh, one of the things I love about the subject, the subject is I'm referring to what you study, right? So one of the things I love the most about the, most about the subject is, Patricia, Rodriguez, tell me. Una de las cosas que amo acerca de la materia es. Um, 
You're interesting. No. Uh, uh, no, that, that would be incorrect, okay? How, you can say how, right? How interesting no. it is, okay? How interesting it is, okay? Lo interesante que es, got it? All right, very good, guys, okay? So, so far, guys, you're probably not understanding this part, and that's absolutely fine, okay? Now, guys, okay, I want you to, I'm going to tell you guys why we call this a noun phrase, right? A noun phrase, guys, it's called like that. As I said before, guys, it's a phrase that works as a noun, okay? Why? Because you have the verb be here. For example, guys, this works as a noun because you can substitute with this with, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say, guys? What can you substitute it with? ¿Por qué podemos sustituir toda esta frase, guys? One thing that I really like about you. Guys. I like. Guys, with what Maybe. can we substitute it? No. With what can we substitute it? ¿Con qué lo podemos sustituir? You don't remember? All right. I'll Chayanne. Chayanne, exactly, guys. Chayanne, all right? <laughs> Very good, okay? All right. So, see you guys. You can say Chayanne, right? You can say Chayanne and then is, right? And then you can complete it with your enthusiasm. Got it? Very good. All right. Second example. We can do the exact same thing, guys, okay? And I want you to notice, guys, that it's because it's everything, guys, that is before the verb be, okay? And it has to start with one thing that, and, and it has to contain, guys, a relative plus. We're going to talk about the relative plus soon, guys, okay? All right. Now, let's take a look at the second example. All right. Um, so, the thing I want the most is, right? So, the thing I want the most, okay? La cosa que más quiero. What can we substitute it with, guys? With? You guessed it. Hi. All right. Chayanne, right? It's always Chayanne, guys, okay? All right, so the same thing happens here, guys. One thing that I love, one of the things I love about the subject is, right? All right, we can substitute it with Chayanne, right? Why? Because we can say, we can say, you know, hey, um, Chayanne, right? But that would be, this would be the same thing, right? Chayanne, all right, is to study abroad, okay? All right. It's like saying, you know, lo que significa Chayanne es estudiar afuera eh, en el extranjero, right? Uh, you can say, you know, you can substitute the third one, guys, okay? So if we give this a one, all right, and this one a two, and this one a three, guys, over here, sorry, three, all right? We can say, all right, Number one is up here, guys. Okay, number one, number two, and then we have number three, all right? So you can say here, okay, and what, guys? What can we, if we, if we substitute this for Chayanne, what can we say? Chayanne? Is, is to study. Now, here, guys, okay? Is how interesting it is, okay, right? That is, we can say Chan is interesting, okay? That will be substituting the rest, okay? Chan is interesting, got it? So, <clears throat> notice, guys, that we accomplished something very important here. This is working as the subject. Check this out, okay? So, this right here, guys, these things are working as the subject, okay? Okay, and then we have the verb to be, right? We have the verb to be over here, guys. All right. This is this is uh, the verb to be over here. Okay. And then we have a the object of the sentence, right? All right. The object of the sentence right here. See. So we need a subject, guys. And I'm talking about the subject. This guys, you can say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase that for you guys. Okay. Instead of subject, guys, you can call that. A noun phrase, okay? Why do we call it a noun phrase, guys? 
¿Por qué lo llamamos un noun phrase? Because contain relative clause. No, that's not why. Because it works as a noun, okay? No. Okay, got it, guys? Lo llamamos un noun phrase, guys, porque funciona como un sustantivo, okay? Todas esas palabras ahí, guys, funcionan como un sustantivo, okay? Now, why? All right, now let's talk about the second part, but before, guys, before, before that, okay? So far, guys, so, so good? Or do we have a question? Is everybody understanding so far? Or do we have questions? You tell me, guys. Yes? Go ahead. All right, very good. All right, so let, now let's talk about the second part over here, containing relative clauses, okay? Let me ask you something, guys. Do all three examples contain the relative clauses, yes or no? Do all three examples contain relative clauses, yes or no? No. No? no? Yes. Yes, they use that. Beyond the answer is yes, okay? Now guys, we can create, right? With saying, guys, one thing, the thing, or one of the things, okay? See what this is? One thing, the thing, or one of the things, okay? And then you add a phrase on top of that. You create a relative clause automatically, okay? So that's why it says noun, noun phrases containing relative clauses, okay? Now, in the first example, guys, in the first example, it's very easy to identify the relative clause. Where can you see the relative clause in the first example? Who can tell me, guys? That I really you... like. Very good. Okay, so that I really like about you. Okay, this is the one. Got it? All right. So that is the one, guys. Okay, that I really like about you. So far, is it good? All right. Very good. So now, guys, in the I don't know what color looks better. Right. In the um, second example, guys, where do you see the relative clause? I want the most things. Why is that a relative clause? Remember, what determines, guys, the relative clause? ¿Qué es lo que termina una relative clause? ¿Cómo lo puedes identificar rápido? After the thing or one thing? No. Uh -uh. Because of the relative pronoun. Because of the relative pronoun. Yes, guys. The relative pronoun, right? Remember, guys, what are the relative pronouns? Pronouns. Do you remember what the relative pronouns are, guys? That. It's for complete the sentence. All right. It's that, who, which, who. Who. All right. Who's, who, too, right? But we're going to focus on these three, okay? That, which, or who, okay? So with that being said, guys, okay, remember, so a relative clause starts with a relative pronoun all the time, okay? I repeat, guys, a relative clause starts with a relative pronoun all the time. So I'll ask you again, where do you see the relative clause in here? Uh -huh. No, you don't see it? It's okay. If you don't see it, that's fine, guys, okay? Before I... Guys, all right, all right. I'm going to ask you again, okay? Now, if I... Okay, let me highlight this part right here, okay? Now, and tell me, guys. Guys, is this a relative clause, yes or no? Raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand if you say yes. Levanta tu mano virtual si pensás que sí. No, nobody. Entonces todos, guys, solo, solo Marcos piensa que sí, todos los demás no. All right, very good. That's okay, that's okay, right? The answer is, guys, yes, it is a relative clause. But why? I agree. Right? Why is it a relative clause? Si estoy diciendo que it has to start with that, with that or which, why is this a relative clause? 
I don't know to change. That's okay, right? I get That's lost. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Very good. Take a look at this, guys. I love about the subject, okay? All right. Is, um, so is, is this a relative clause, yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes, okay, but we don't know why, right? Ahorita todos están diciendo sí porque dije que sí. Nadie sabe por qué, right? That's okay, that's right, okay? All right, very good. Now, guys, I'll teach you why. But before we do that, okay, I want you guys to uh, take a screenshot, okay? I'll give you 30 seconds to take a screenshot. Le voy a dar 30 segundos para que tomen un screenshot, guys. Si quieren, lo mandan a WhatsApp group. If you want, send it to the WhatsApp group, guys. It's all right, okay? You let me know when you're ready. Ready. All right, very good. Okay, good job. All right, guys, because I'm going to erase a couple of things here. All right. The reason why, guys, and thank you, uh, Marcos, you were right. The reason why, guys, this is 100% a relative plus is because of this, okay? Let's analyze the, fir the first example. One thing that I really like about you. Now, we know this is a relative clause, and you, you know why, right? Why is this a relative clause, David? Um, uh, I don't know. Why? Okay. It starts this is, with that. This is a relative clause. Okay. with that. Guys, 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 right? Do me a favor, okay? Take notes, okay? The reason I asked you, David, is because you were looking up, okay? You were looking at the ceiling, okay? So, guys, take notes, okay? Because I think Adrian, was that you saying this? Yeah, it starts with that. Because it starts with that, okay? See, that I really like about you, that is a relative clause, okay? Now, you were asking me, you know, well, I was telling you, the thing I, I'm gonna leave some space here, I want the most is, okay? Now, here, guys, I want the most is a relative clause. But why if you don't have a relative pronoun? Because we can substitute them with that. Guys, that, guys, no, hold on, yes. That, guys, is optional. It is what? It is optional, guys. Optional. So here, guys, so here you can say that, see? So actually, we do have a relative pronoun there, guys, but it is invisible, OK? Tenemos un relative pronoun, pero es invisible. The thing, you can, so you can say one thing I really like about you, or you can say the thing that I want the most is, see? ¿sí? Got it, guys? Puedes decir, claro. puedes usar that or which, o puedes no usarlos y solo seguir con el resto, ¿ok? So significa que es invisible, all right? So if you say, guys, one thing that I really like about you is the same thing as saying, one thing I really like about you without using that, okay? Got it? That's, so basically that's... what I'm saying, guys, is that this right here equals this, you know, one thing. All right, so what will be the rest of the sentence, guys, if I don't use a relative, if I don't use a relative uh, pronoun? What will be the rest I of the really, sentence? I really like I about really you. like about you, very good, see? So this is the same as this, one thing I really like about you and this one, guys, the thing I want the most is, is the same as? The thing that I want the, the most. The thing that I want the most. most. Got it? Got it. All right. What is the difference in use that and can use that? Less words, menos palabras. <laughs> that yes. is the only difference, okay? There is no difference in meaning, guys, okay? It means the ex exactly the same thing, okay? All right. Okay. Sounds good, guys. Okay, all right. Uh, do we need more examples, guys? Or you want to give yes. more? Okay, right. Very good. Now, uh, you guys start giving me your examples then, okay? It's time for you to give me your examples, okay? So uh, let's start with uh, Rodrigo Gonzalez, okay? Let's start with... Uh, guys, do me a favor. Follow the, follow the structure, okay? If you took a screenshot from before, guys, you should have the structure. If not, guys, I'll just put it down here. First of all, we need a noun, we need a, a noun phrase, right? A noun phrase that contains a relative clause, okay? So we need a noun phrase 
then we need what, guys? What else comes next? ¿Qué viene después? We need a verb. What verb do we need? Be, to be. Okay, we need the verb to be, okay? And then we need what? Después que necesitamos, what do we need? Object. Okay, very good, okay? So we need an object, okay? All right, so this is what we need, guys. All right, so I'll put it down here. Strong sure right just like just like so okay so structure over here all right so you do not forget it all right so following that structure guys all right you give me your examples all right um give me an example without with an invisible relative pronoun uh let's see rodrigo gonzalez give me an example now everybody else guys do me a favor, todo, todo mundo trate de enviarme un ejemplo, aunque no sepa mucho, que trate de enviarme un ejemplo, ¿ok? En el chat ahorita, right? Meanwhile, Rodrigo, let's go. The thing I want the most is the drive. Is. Ok, you can, all right. Now, if you're going to say is, you need to, ok. Here's one thing, guys. Aquí algo bien importante. Después de is, okay, after is, you either have to use, right? You either have to use a noun or noun phrase, or you need to use a gerund, or you need to use a, an infinitive, okay? So, let's puede usar, okay? The thing that I want the most is, you can say a noun, drive. right? Noun would be Cheyenne, right? A gerund would be driving. An infinitive would be to drive. Got it, Rodrigo? Got it, okay. to drive. All right, very good. So, so let's try it one more time, okay? So the thing that I want to do the most is? To drive. Driving, or to drive, or right? Or driving, yeah. <laughs> drive. Okay, very good. Very good, okay, good job, all right? Uh, let's see, Patricia Rodriguez. Give me your example, Patricia. Everybody send me your examples, okay? Let's go, Patricia. The thing, oh, one thing. Thing, no thing, thing. Thing. Yes, uh -huh. The thing or one that thing. I really like about the cup. That I really like about the the coop. What is a coop? Coop. Coop. About, about cooking. Oh, you mean. okay. Yes. About <laughs> cooking, not cooking. the cook. <laughs> about cooking. Huh? Mm. About the cooking. Cooking We're missing in something the dinner. Here. Uh huh? In the dinner. At dinner. At dinner. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So right now you have the noun phrase, right? Containing a relative clause. So you have you have this right here, okay? Tenes esta parte ahorita, right? So you have this part, see? This is what you got. This is this, okay? All of this is that, okay? So give me the rest of the structure. I think I really like about the cooking at dinner is it is very good. Delicious. No. No. Listen to what you're saying. La cosa que me, me encanta de que realmente me encanta hacer que cocinar en la cena es deliciosa. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, oh, yes. Oh, it's too fun. sure with the family. All right, to share with the family, okay, compartir con la familia, okay? All right, very good. I mean, you could also, you could have said, all right, let's use a noun, guys, all right? Let's use a noun, okay? The thing that I really like about cooking at dinner is, is um, um, having, you can say having, right, Jaren, right? To cook pizza, right? Or you can say, the thing I really like about cooking at dinner is uh, making pizza, see? You can all say that, right? Very good, Patricia. All right, let's have uh, um, Marcos. Give me your example, Marcos. 
One thing I love is sleeping. <laughs> sleeping, not a sleeping. Sleeping, okay? Sleeping. One thing that I love is, very good. And then, just like Garfield, all right, is sleeping. Sleeping all day, all night, forever. All the time. All right, very good. All right, very good. Um, Monica, all right, give me your example, Monica. One thing that I love the most is kind people. Okay, right. So, hold on. So, one thing that I love the most is kind people. All right, very good. So you got kind people. Very good. Good job. Good job. Okay. Uh, David, give me your example, David. One thing that I do is to learn English. Okay. One thing that I really love is, right? And then you're using an infinitive. Very good. Bye. And you're saying, you know, to learn English, okay? Very good, all right? Let's see. Who else wants to give me their example, guys? Can I make an example? Teacher, I send my, my, my example. All right, I'm gonna read them all. Okay. All right, I'm gonna read them all, okay? Uh, don't worry. Uh, yes, Santos, tell me. Yes, Santos. Hello. Okay. Yes, tell me. Tell me. Give me your example. Um, this one of the things uh, that I love um, in life, in, in my life, is um, is singing. It's singing. Very good. Okay. So you can say it's singing. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Very good, guys. So let me check your examples. It says, Ernesto, I, I think I like the most from work is the payment. Yeah, me too. One thing I love is sleeping. Very good. One thing that I really want is to learn English. Very good. One thing that I hate the most is rude people. Rafael, very good. The thing that I want the most is traveling. Very good. One thing I really like about drive, about driving. Okay. After a proposition, you need a, a gerund about driving is the love music david the thing i wish a lot is a better country me too man um very good one thing i want the most is to travel to paris one that i really love is resting one thing i really like is to take a nap now mm, nori nori you're missing you, need, you either need an infinitive a gerund or a or a noun okay or a noun okay. phrase okay? uh mainly one thing i really that that really no Mainly, you're missing the subject. I mean, one thing that that who that who likes, sure. right? One thing that I or or that my son really likes, right? Monica, one thing I love the most is kind people. Very good, good job, guys. Okay, so I read all of your examples here. I think you got this, guys. Do you think that you get it? All right. Do you, do you think that you got it, guys? Creen que ya ya Yes. That we're good. Yes, I do. All right, okay, do my favor, guys. Take another screenshot, okay? Tell me another screenshot. All right. You ready? Okay, good. Good, 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 guys. Okay, all right. So, guys, that it, it's time for you to practice, okay? But before we do that, guys, all right, do you have any questions? Questions, questions, preguntas, guys? Nothing. We're good. Is it clear as Petrov or clear as as coffee, Salvadorian coffee? All right, I'm gonna get you together now, guys. Hold on. So I'm gonna show you the screen, guys, and this is what you're gonna do. I have some conversation topics for you guys. And I just want you to talk, okay? And I want you to realize that. I want you to realize that, um, that for some reason the tools from Zoom are not working anymore. Oh, there you go. Okay. So 
So uh, I was gonna say, guys, that I want you to realize that when you speak, I don't. You don't have to give. Uh, take a screenshot, guys, and send it to the WhatsApp group, please. Okay. So when you speak, guys, you do not have to be redundant in your answers, okay? Meaning that you don't have to go over the same vocabulary all over again, okay? I don't want sentences. I want you to talk. For example, here, guys, you can answer whatever you want as long as you have a nice, fluent conversation. Do you have a friend who lives in another country? Talk about him or her. So your answer can be yes, of course, you know? You can say, you can say this, right? So you can say, yes, I do have another you know, a friend who lives in another country. See, a friend who lives in another country, guys. Where do I have the relative clause here? Who lives in another country. Who lives in another country, right? Yes, I do have a friend who lives in another country. He is, you can say his name is Peter. He lives, you know, his name is Peter. He lives in uh, New in New York, uh, in the USA, and uh, you can say we've been friends for a very long time now, blah, 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 okay? So you can create a story out of that, guys, okay? So you have a couple of topics here, guys, which, which will allow you to use your relative pronouns, got it? I mean, your, your relative uh, clauses, got it? All right. So I'm going to share feedback with you guys as I listen to you. I'm going to share feedback, okay? Lo voy a escuchar, guys, y le voy a dar feedback también, okay? Sounds good? All right. Yes, we'll know what we're going to do. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Ingrid, you're still at work, right? Never mind. Yes. 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 Did you hear me? Uh, where do you have a friend who lives in another sea? Uh, about him or her. Uh, All right, guys, let's let's get started, okay? Okay, if you want to, Jose, I, I, I will tell you about a friend of mine that lives in Argentina, and she is one of my best friends since I was, I don't know, like 12 years old. And I went to visit her like five years ago. That was my first time traveling alone and it was a great uh, trip she lives in Buenos Aires and I don't know what else but dude that that was that was perfect well done man well done. Where, where did you learn your English um I studied in Academia Europea but it was just like 10 years ago. So I have a lot of time without using English, only in traveling. It's been a long time. Not I have a it's lot of time. It's been a long time. It's been, been a long, long time, time since I, did, I don't use okay. or I don't practice, okay? It's been a long time since I don't practice. Right? Okay, thank you. No, yes. but it, it's really good, man. The only the only thing that I need, I think that you need help with is 
uh, well, uh, from what I heard, right? Because you might have issues with other tenses. But uh, the only thing that I would improve is that you're you're thinking you're thinking too much in what you're going to say, you know. Okay. So that is because uh, you need to to talk. You need to to get used to talking a lot so you can improve your fluency. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. So, but but other than that, you know, your vocabulary is good. The grammar was good. So overall, very good job, man. Very good job. Okay. Thank you, Libby. Thank right. you. Uh, Jose Chicas, all right, let's let's go. So, so keep practicing, guys. I need to check on the other rooms, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Sonsonate with with uh, with uh, my friend. We are making a, I think, big deal with him. Really? How yep. much money? Uh, three or five thousand dollars. <laughs> What are you talking about? Is that how much you're making? The business. Right now? Business. Oh, okay. The business. <laughs> what, what business do you what business do you own? What business do you have? I have a friend in Cincinnati that I have appointment tomorrow for presentation of the the business. And I think that it, we can make a big deal. Oh, that's oh, because you sell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah, I think that is just great. Okay, right. All right, continue talking, okay? I'm going to give you feedback as you talk, guys. Okay. See you, David. Now, Meli, how about you? How about you, Meli? Meli? Uh, yes, and my guest is I have a friend who lives in another country. My best friend lives in the United States. She lives in Corona in let's, California. Let's, let's, let's try it again, okay? Let's, let's, let's try it again, all right? Lives okay in third lives. person, you say lives. She lives, lives, she lives, she lives. She lives. She lives in all right. She lives in, she lives in Corona, it's in California. Okay, okay, and so, so you can say, right? You can, right? You can use the relative clauses like this, okay? I have a friend who or that, right? I have a friend who lives in Corona, California. Okay. Thanks. All right. Continue. Who lives in Corona? His name is Alex Garcia. His name. You need to study, all right, possessive adjectives, okay? Possessive adjectives, okay? All right. His so, name? All right. He's no. Her, her, if it is a female, oh. her name, okay? All right, one more time from Thank the beginning, Maylin. From the beginning. Um, yes, I have a friend who live in mm -mm. Corona. Third person. Who lives. All right, who one lives. more time. Yes. I'm sorry, David. That's okay. Um, yes, I have a friend. Uh, who lives in Corona in California. Uh, her name is Alex Garcia. She is my best friend for all oh, life. I don't remember when she I- She has have... been, right. She has been my best friend since- She has, I don't remember since. I think it's the old life. All right, so I don't remember. You can say, you know, she has been my best friend since since forever. Um, right. you thank you. She has been my best friend forever. Forever. Thank you, David. Yes. Good job. All right. So continue. Uh, give give each other some feedback. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you very baby. much, Maylin. You're okay. welcome. To learn something that I love. Yeah, the, that's why I, I learn English. And I consider that that is the best thing that I I have done in my life. I would like to have a wife who like English. <laughs> you would like to what? <laughs> to have a wife. A wife. Wife who like English. Who likes English. Likes English. Really? Why would you like to have a wife who likes English? Uh, 
¿Por qué, ¿Por qué te gustaría tener eso? Porque, why would you like to have a wife who likes English? For teach English to my children. <laughs> so, she, so she can, right? Repeat. So she can teach English to my children. Children. To teach English to no, my so children. She, repeat. So she. So she. Can teach. So can teach. English to my children. English to my children. Very good. Okay. Children, not children's children. Children. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Good job. Continue, guys. Okay. Number okay. five. Number five. Okay. <coughs> do you know? Do you know someone? Okay. Whose wife? No. Someone who's, yes, it's okay. Whose wife? Mm -hmm. Whose wife, husband? Uh, do you know? Uh -huh, okay. Do you know someone whose wife is friend, friend in English? Is so, do you speak English? With them? Well, do you speak English with them? Uh, with them. With them. With them. Yes. Uh, okay. With them. Actually, Nuri, I I don't have right. right I don't care. Let me see. I don't know anybody right now that I can that I can call remember. Who is fluent in English uh, right I now? Anybody, I, I don't have anybody. I that don't have I anybody remember, that, that I remember, remember who is fluent, fluent in English. Or you can say who is fluent in, in English, yes. In English. Okay. I, right. okay. okay. What about you, Nuri? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. My husband, my daughter, my son. <laughs> Really? All, my, all my family is that the reason that I want to learn. All right, we're going to go back now, Bill. <laughs> <Jeff, please. laughs> all right, guys. So, hey, um, so how do you find, how did you find today's topic? Is it busy or too harsh? Interesting. Interesting, but was it understandable? Did you understand? At the end, yes. At the beginning, yes. was all right. Difficult, but... <laughs> all right, that's that's good, right? I mean, that that that's the thing that you don't understand anything at first, and then you end up understanding and understanding everything and teaching, right? I one day you guys are gonna be the teachers here. You know, I'm not even gonna see you here, all right? So pretty good job, guys. All right, pretty pretty good. All right. Any questions, guys? Not for this moment, David. All right. Very good. So if that's the case, guys, um, that's it for tonight. I will see you. Guys, to, uh, this this is the last week, okay? Uh, I know that some of you were not here at the beginning, guys, but we were going over the platform exercises. So do me a favor, okay, if you haven't finished the, uh, the, the section number five or number four, guys, please finish them as soon as possible, guys, so we can start. The next module as soon as possible as well okay thank you Chuck. sounds good okay. yes okay, thank you, thanks okay. thanks a lot guys i'll see you tomorrow good night. thank you good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.